So, hey guys, Chelsea here, back with another Revo 2 team, this time it's using Versus Big Mom as captain, and I must say, out of all Revo 2 teams I made, this is my favorite, it's super good, showing off cool stuff, consistent, does a lot of damage every stage, it has, and like it's not too dumb, like you have to use your mind, so it keeps you engaged, so, big fan. Uh, first I want to note that Limit Break Expanded uh, Baccarat is required for this team, so LB plus Baccarat. But even if you haven't done that, it's something to consider for the future, because she is definitely worth it. She gets minus 2 CD and she is just a very good rare recruit in general. So in the beginning of the run, you have to keep in mind getting tandem recoveries you want to. Try and shuffle your orbs, always hit if you have a tandem recovery. You can swap Luffy Sorrow, especially on stage 1 and stage 3, you can spend a lot of time there. Like this team, I'm trying to do it a bit more optimal, show how fast it can be, but you can definitely slow down the pace to just fish. But most of the time you will get enough orbs without thinking about it. See if you use Baccarat at this stage, I will showcase... Uh, a more optimal way to do a lot of damage, but the only thing you, you have to think about if you use this team is I want to kill the mobs turn 1. Then turn 2 you can hit hack, do damage, and then keep doing it turn 3. And of course you can use turn 2 to try and eat some recovery orbs, I can swap Lufisoro if needed. Like you can swap Lufisoro and uh, Doffy Treble depending on the orbs of the team. But yeah, you want to go to next stage with Treble and Luffy. And yes, turn 3, we use Frank Captain Big Mom specials. We want to hit 3 perfects now. So yeah, just hit 3 perfects. If you do that, you can break the shield and just kill and move on. So the cool thing with this team too is that almost all orbs are beneficial as long as you swap off the Treble. If you do that, then all orbs are beneficial for Int, except for quick and yeah this is a very int based team like the non int units can guarantee their own orbs so you mostly have to think about the int units but yeah you swap both two units this turn use relic special and then you'll see how i do it you can just beat this stage in one turn thanks to the orb boost you carried over and yeah, I get a bit lucky here, you'll see that the bottom row both get recovery, this is RNG, you don't need that, getting lucky is always fine, but it legit doesn't matter. But, but what you want to do now is swap Luffy Sorrow, you get, get to Luffy, it's a strength unit, you also get guaranteed Tandem, Tandem turns into recovery with versus Pigmon special, she has a time of support, so it guarantees 3 more recovery orbs. Then we use the Versus special, this turn into Semla, and Semla is similar to Wano slot, Rainbow slot and all of that, so it, was, it will be beneficial and the enemy can change it, so very useful. So yeah, we just move on after one turn, remember to hit 3 perfects to carry over the buff. And yeah, this stage we'll be using Doffy Treble. Uh, he will lock the orbs, we keep the seven orbs one more turn, one more stage, that's nice. You will also get the chain lock. The chain lock to the, together with the orb boost will be enough to hit Morley to 1 HP. And yet, it's the Psy Rare Recruit Bellamy support, which removes all of the defensive effects. And yeah, honestly, I realized it making this team that Doffy Treble is absolutely broken for Rebel 2. I'll be doing a lot more teams with them, they are just amazing. But yeah, Baccarat is ready again since she's Limit Break expanded. All the stalling we've done is to get Baccarat ready again. And yeah, here you want to target the bottom right unit. Attack with the strength units first, kill Bellobetti in two hits, and try to keep a Semla Orb on one of the big moms. 
this just gives a little bit extra damage next stage since you can you'll keep this summoner slot as long as you want basically see so yeah, we just want to kill one every turn here just stall back a bit of cd and yeah it's good to swap uh, both the duo units before because we get orb shuffle to uh, unfavorable so we can just swap back get a matching orb so yeah we just want to burst now do as much damage as we can and yeah this is a strong part of modern captains like you do so much damage just by having beneficial slots since uh, the uh, captain ability is such a high multiplier But yeah, we want to st uh, stay here for 3 turns, so we'll be doing a bit of stalling. We can swap both Doffy Trouble and Lufusaur just to guarantee a matching orbs next turn. And then you can just try and fish a bit on the other units, like if one of them has a recovery slot, it's wise to keep them. So don't touch the recovery orb unless you have to. Unless it's on Lufusaur or Treble, of course. Since we're going to swap them now, and they will guarantee that we take out Lindbergh. But yeah, you can try again to get as many recovery as possible. As you'll see this run, I didn't really get good luck with recovery orbs. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. Just a nice extra insurance. But yeah, we used the other versus Big Mom versus Special. And this means that we'll keep an recovery orb we get. So it should guarantee a few matching orbs at least. Since Karas just shuffles the orb for us, so... But yeah, we don't get too many. But yeah, as mentioned before, like next turn we're going to swap the trouble. This makes strength and dex guarantee uh, beneficial. So that's just quick. And yeah, remember to use Baccarat special first, just so you don't mess up. If you use Baccarat after Doffer Trouble, you remove the chain. Lock. But yeah, we're using a lot of special this turn. Uh, remember with Doffer Trouble that you can swap slots, so if the strength units have good slots, like on this run, you can just move them to the int units. And yeah, I'll remind again, like every time, you need to hit three perfects. We have Relic, so we have easy perfect too, so you can just hit with the strength units first to be safe. And then this is an easy kill. So yeah, we carry over the ore boost, which we will be at 2.5 times ore boost. Uh, we will use the other big one special here for a 2.25 times attack boost. And then we have Luffy Zoro for the chain lock. And yeah, Lufusaur hasn't done much this run, he was the last unit I put on the team. He's just here to kill Morley, to swap for Tandem, he's a strength unit that's useful, and the chain lock this final turn. So yeah, he was all I needed. But yeah, I really enjoyed this team, I do recommend trying this, I don't often say that, but I really think this is a very good team, very fun to use, try it out if you can. Thanks for watching, see you next time.